All right, y'all, welcome back. It's your boy, Jahan John Snow, and I'm back with some more boxing. I want to welcome all new viewers to the channel. Please subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, tap that subscribe button for me. Turn that notification bell on for the next video. Okay, y'all, now check it out. Quick fight reaction. Themofima Lopez versus Josh Taylor. Now, off the back, I want to say Themofima Lopez won the fight. You know, I had a 7-5 for Themofima Lopez. Um, Josh Taylor was giving Themo, he was basically trying to fight like Themo Fima Lopez, stand behind the jab, you know, fighting um, on the outside, right? And he didn't put enough pressure inside, you know, inside pressure where he better at on Themo Fimo Lopez, you know? And I think if he would have did that, this fight would have been different, y'all, you know? But I had a set, I had a seven five, Themo Fima Lopez, you know, I gave the first three, the first three rounds to Josh Taylor, you know, which they was tight rounds, but I gave them to I gave them to Josh Taylor. The fourth round, Fimo Fimo Lopez started heating up. He won that round. He won one. He won. He won round five. Now round six, um, I gave it to Fimo Fimo Lopez. So that's three rounds in a row. That's four, five, and six. Now round six. He started um, styling on Dima Fima Lopez, y'all, you know. Um, basically, you know, impressing um, the judges, you know, with his um, with his craftiness, his quickness, um, his athleticism, his footwork. He started all that in round six, okay? Now, round seven, Josh Taylor. Round eight, Demofima Lopez. Round nine, Demofima Lopez. Round nine, y'all, was Demofima Lopez. Best round. It was his best round. He tow up. Um, he th he tow up Josh Taylor in that round. You know, was his best round. He also had a great round in round eleven, but right now we on round nine. So round nine, Demofima Lopez. Round ten, Josh Taylor. Round eleven, Demofima Lopez. And round twelve, you know. Dima Fima Lopez, you know, the, the championship, the championship rounds. Dima Fima Lopez hold it down, you know, in that 12th round. Um, so I had a 7-5. And like I said, the first three rounds was given to, you know, was given to Josh Taylor, but they was tight rounds. So all the way around, Dima Fima Lopez won this fight. You know, um, very impressive performance by Dima Fima Lopez, you know, uh, way better than his last, I would say, I would say um, three previous fights, you know. Um, he's saying that he's going to retire. I don't believe that. I believe that just, you know, words to, for him to catch a big bag out there. You know, he don't he feel like he's getting underpaid, you know. Um, you got Tank Davis making a lot of money. You got Devin Haney making a lot of money, you know. He you know, came over the top rank, made four million. Um made four million his last fight, I know for sure, against Lomachenko. But I I think against um George Cambosa, those those first two fights, you know, the first two fights. I think he made less money, but it was still more than what Demofimo Lopez is getting paid by top rank, you know. And according to his dad, that's what his rent was about, you know. When he um said that, you know, the um the American African American fighters is getting you know getting treated better, you know. He been saying some things. I don't think he's been in his right mind. He been going through some things. So he's been letting things off his chest, you know, playing the villain, you know, somewhat. But he need to um watch what he say. You know, he don't wanna bury he don't wanna, you know, burn bridges, right? To you know you know what I mean? But if he continue to back his words up and give us the performance that he gave us against um Josh Taylor. And maybe he can, you know, maybe it'll work for him, you know, maybe it'll work for him in the boxing, in the boxing world, y'all, you know, but 
I don't know who he's going to fight next. Like I said, he's talking about this retirement. Knowing that he's not going to retire, he just want the stakes to be raised, you know, raised up on him, you know. And if he want the, the money, the bag, he might have to fight Tank Davis next. I'm not mad at the fight if he fight Tank Davis next. I think I think Demofimo Lopez match up better with Tank Davis than the rest of them. Like, you know, if you're talking about you talking about Devin Haney or Shakur Stevenson, right? You know, I think Tank Davis and um Demo Fimo Lopez is a great matchup, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Far as styles go. Far as styles go. Both of these guys got kind of like similar style, you know, with the with the quickness, the quick jabs. You know, and um the way they the way they um throw their punches, their hooks and all that. You know, they timing, they counter, they kind of look alike in the ring. You know, and I, I want to see, I, you know, this matchup if it happened. If it happened, I'm not mad. Even though I know it might be Devin Haney, Tank Davis. But, you know, it, you know, it, I don't know. So, I'm going to check out, y'all, to the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe. Just wanted to give y'all my um my fight reaction, you know, and my thoughts. Um, Josh Taylor, right, is a good, great fighter. Um, he fought he fought good in his fight, but you know he um, was making a lot of mistakes and wasn't his normal style. I would say, you know, he was trying to show. Demo Fimo Lopez that he can, you know, pop and, and, you know, be crafty too and, you know, fight him from a distance because maybe he knew Demo Fimo Lopez was going to move around a lot anyways. You know what I mean? But, y'all, I'm going to check out to the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe. Brass Knuckle Boxing. I'm gone.